Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make curved paths on Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today's video is basically just a very in-depth tutorial on how to do it since in my last couple of videos, I was kind of quick about it and didn't really explain it. And so many of you have been asking for this tutorial, so I'm gonna finally cover it. We technically do not get curved paths whatsoever in Disney Dreamlight Valley. So we are having to basically manipulate manipulate the plaza rock item now if you're doing a completely different style than what i have going on here on my peaceful meadow any small rock honestly will work so what I like to do first is start off with just kind of mapping out kind of how I want the curves to go and the path to look with the rock item before placing any kind of path down. Placing these first will help you with uh, basically as like a guide on where you need to fill in with the actual path. I highly recommend starting out with just the rocks and don't do the path first just because with the path it's really hard to visualize angles since we don't get those. The rocks kind of help visualize how the angled path is gonna look. So today's video, we're gonna make a very curvy, windy path around this pond. I feel like the ponds are very hard to decorate in this game, especially since we can't relocate them. So I'm gonna try to make a really nice natural like path that kind of frames it and transitions into basically anything you wanted to. It could transition to maybe your farm area or maybe something a little bit more natural. I'm working in the peaceful meadow today and I have no idea what my goal for this theme is gonna be quite yet. So I wanted to try out basically the idea of a windy path just to see if I want to go for a more natural approach as I feel like today's tutorial would work excellent against the dirt path especially if we're going for like a forest core kind of theme I feel like this would be such a huge staple uh, design wise for that especially because we're working with a lot of curves and natural like elements so uh, if y'all end up recreating this using the dirt path please let me know in the comment section how it ended up looking because I feel like that would be so beautiful for people who are doing a forest theme and I'm very tempted on doing like an enchanted magical overgrown forest kind of vibe basically down here I'm also going to be focusing on farms and like ways to make them functional but really pretty looking in a future video so make sure you stay tuned for that so basically when we start reaching this second curve to the design I feel like this is the hardest part because you want it to look like it's actually starting to curve the first angle is kind of easier but this part right here I feel like is the most difficult so watch this very carefully as I'm placing rocks at a certain angle and adjusting them as needed something I cannot express enough the rocks literally have to be placed a certain way to achieve the curved effect there is a very specific method to this so make sure you're placing the rocks at similar angles like I am. I also decided in the middle of the build to make the path about two squares in dimensions. I feel like that just made it a little bit easier to capture the curved effect. So that is about the width that I am working with. Obviously, I am adjusting it throughout the build, but for the most part, it's going to be that two square like dimension. So as you can see on that pond area, we have a weird little gap thing going on. You can see the grass going through. So I'm going to just pull these in a little bit more just to really fill in that area and hide the edge of the path. This whole entire method is basically trial and error. You will not get it the first time because I have tried doing this curved path I think about 10 times now before I actually recorded it. It's very difficult, I'm still struggling with it. But once you get kind of familiar with how the rock angles actually start to work because the rocks actually do have an angle to them, I notice as I work with the rocks, they actually do have some sort of an angled direction that they're pointing at and this really does help capture the illusion that this is a winding path so I'm very excited about that but as you see when I'm starting to work on a new angle I don't rotate any of the rocks I kind of use those natural angles that the rocks have as a guide and then once I get the main path kind of filled in I rotate a few of those rocks so they look a little bit more natural and not as similar to each other just like they would in real life and then once we get past that difficult curve we just go with a straight path for as long as you want it honestly I'm trying to keep the straight parts pretty short short so I can start introducing new curves very quickly but honestly this is the method basically to achieve the curved look uh, you can do any angles any dimension as you want definitely just you know fill in and make adjustments with the path as needed as you can see once again just like we've been doing I'm placing the brick path down then I will start working on the next angle and you see where the square part is 
we're gonna have to delete some of that path. And as you can see, I'm already making adjustments as needed. There is so much adjustment and trial and error with this method. It is time consuming, very time consuming, but the results are so worth it, especially if you're wanting something a little bit more natural. All right, so now that we are reaching where the squared area is on the brick path, as you can see, I'm starting to make that angle once again with the plaza rocks. And then I'll make some adjustments to the placement as needed uh, to get that curve starting to go. And as you can see, we have basically a really nice windy curved path going on here. This is such a great staple if you're doing a more natural approach or just wanting to add a little bit more character to your map in general. Let me know if this tutorial has helped you today. Let me know how you're planning to use this curved look on your map. I've been focusing basically on different quests throughout the game to unlock more items as I still hardly have any even though I've done so many quests. So hopefully by next video I will have a lot more items unlocked and once that probably happens I'll flatten everything that I've done on the peaceful meadows so I can really capture that natural cottage kind of feel throughout the bottom level. I think that's what my plan is going to be for here. I feel like I want to do a very nice cottage core kind of styled on the peaceful meadow with all of my cottage like houses and then on the actual plaza that will be a little bit more elegant and structured for like my shops. So I think that's basically going to be my plan for just in general. Let me know what y'all are doing decorating wise. Maybe we can do some ideas around your themes on future videos. As for Animal Crossing content, I'm going to be posting some Animal Crossing content actually this week. We're going to be doing some new city core stuff. I'm going to be testing out different themes to kind of see what speaks to me first. So stay tuned for that if you're one of my Animal Crossing followers. With that being said, I hope that this video today really did help you out. Thank y'all so much for your support and for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day.